Have you ever thought, what if my favorite content creators had domain expansions? No? Too bad, you're getting it anyway. In case you're unfamiliar with the mechanics of Jujutsu Kaisen's power system, here's how it works. Ready? Go! Here's a list of content creators and domain expansions I came up with for them. Spare change, ma'am. Like if you're a broke boy, just say so! Okay. Pokimane is the biggest female content creator on Twitch. She pulls insane numbers and simps all year round. Now, personally, I feel like Pokimane is overhated. Two years, bro! Okay, except for that one. That one was valid. Two years! Alright, Poki, we get it. Curse Technique, Midas Cookies. This curse technique took her two, two years, bro, to cultivate. She throws cookies at you, and for every cookie that hits, it drains you of your mon- <clears throat> Cursed Energy and sends it back to her. Alternate curse technique, Expert Businesswoman. She can analyze enemy weak points. Her ability does a roll in the weak spot is assigned randomly. If she hits that spot, she deals a fuck ton more damage, but if she hits other spots, you take much less damage. She can fine-tune the size of the weak point, but the smaller the weak point is, the more damage she does. Domain expansion. Financial damnation. She talks to your sponsors about your behavior. Wait, sorry, fuck, that's the wrong description, sorry. Ah, here's the right one. The domain takes the form of the primary bank that you use. She directly opens your bank account and drains money from it slowly and you allow her to do so like the simply all know you are. If she depletes your entire account, you can't use your cursed technique or domain for 5 minutes. However, you can still use cursed energy. You guys are so boring. Widowmaker is clearly the sexiest. I would love her to snuff the life out of me between her thick, muscly thighs. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it. Asmongold's most known for his- Oh fuck, put that away, man. Okay, thank you. Asmongold is most known for playing MMOs such as WoW and Final Fantasy XIV, but he's much more than just his games. He's more known for his base as fuck, facts don't give a fuck about your feelings approach to things, so his opinions usually land in between realism and radical empiricism, which I can personally get behind. Curse Technique Megamind he can literally shoot laser beams of cursed energy out of his forehead. Full auto mode fires little cursed energy beams and semi-auto fires huge laser beams which do a lot of damage. If he wants to, he can make his forehead a fucking minigun. Domain Expansion Mind Maze You enter his brain and go into the labyrinth that is his room because, just like him when he says he'll play Genshin, it's full of shit. He gains a buff depending on how long you've been in the maze. How big or complex the maze is is completely up to him as long as it's possible to solve in one minute. If you're unable to solve the maze in 5 minutes, you're automatically sent out of the domain and Megamind's next hit is a sure hit and does 5 times more damage. Fuck around the pussy! You know who this guy is, there's no need to explain. What a fucking nick. Curse technique, bro fist. He can generate flying fists which are like after images of his own fist. But the more he conjures, the less damage they'll have. His bro fists are covered in amplified cursed energy which I now dub as bro girt. Which latch onto the target and have a delayed blow. Domain expansion. I love you Felix, but I gotta do this to you. Domain expansion, bridge of eternal bigotry. For every racial slur he says at the bridge, his curse technique's damage is directly amplified. He can use this effect 10 times, but for every time he says a racial slur, the amount of fists he can generate with bro fists decrease. So by the 10th time he says it, he'll only have one giant bro fist. Almost looked like Skadoodle had actually come out on top there. What a flick coming in, Shroud getting one of the headshot. He's tapping away, Shroud! Can he do it again? He's up to 11 kills and looking for number 12! Are you kidding me, Shroud?! If you think you're so good at FPS, try 1v1ing Shroud. He'll put you in the trash where you fucking belong. Shroud is one of the kings of streaming and probably the best FPS player in the world at some point in his life. Cursed Weapon, The Griffin. Basically the share from Valorant but with a slightly different name so I can sound original. The Griffin's special effect is Russian Roulette. When Shroud spins the chamber, the damage of one of the bullets is amped and does much much more damage than the other bullets. This effect is nullified if he doesn't fire a shot within the next 15 seconds. Curse Technique, Evil Eye. Anything he marks as a target will automatically have his attacks home in on them. Domain Expansion, Trigger Finger. He traps the enemy in an ISO style arena where you have to 1v1 him. And Shroud don't miss anyway, so you're basically fucked. That's what I've been waiting for! Moist Critical Critical, also known as Charlie, is the god of analogies that make sense and at the same time don't. He will roast you in the strangest way possible, but it'll still hurt because whatever he says somehow rings true. Curse Technique Sleeper Build His muscles grow in proportion to the level of cursed energy he imbues within them up until a certain threshold. His main attack with this is God Slap. He has a binding vow which allows all slaps to be more powerful, but other physical attacks do jack shit. Domain Expansion Florida Man 
You spawn in his lawn, he calls you a cock like he did Sneeko, and then he pulls a fucking gun on you. Now he's got guns and muscles, and you're just stuck there. We're not sure if we're gonna use this for yeah. ice cream, but we got some peanut butter today, and um... Sly, what happened to this peanut butter? Well, you said you weren't sure if we were gonna use it. And so I did. Jay Schlatt is an all-rounder type of guy. He's famous for being gay in denial. Why did you wait for the countdown? Fuck did you. you see Fuck you. Food? Killing the queen and multiple atrocities and crimes against humanity. He's on the FBI's most wanted list for rocking sideburns too hard and he's facing trial with the International Criminal Court for his actions in Ukraine. Curse technique, men kissing. Schlatt tries to deny the fact that he's gay and miserably fails, leading to him coming out of the closet and coming to kiss you. If he's successful in kissing you, you turn to stone and can only be reverted back. If he kisses you again. Domain expansion. Terror and resonance. He takes you to the Twin Towers. This is just a bog standard domain with a short hit. That's it. XQC. XQC is a former Overwatch pro who is now Twitch royalty because he's a prince who the king's never gonna choose as his heir. The way he speaks is either Patrick Slow or Eminem Fast depending on the day, but one thing's for sure, you need a translator to understand him unless you wanna learn XQCEs. He's got a permanent debuff, speech impediment, he was born with heavenly restriction on his fucking mouth, making him physically unable to speak properly like Krieg from Borderlands. Tell her to rescue you. I'm the conductor of the poop train! It's over, idiot. Or Porky Pig. Curse Sticky, Juice Mixer. He summons a literal juice mixer with different available juices like lemon, apple, grape, and orange, you name it. Depending on the juice he chooses, it gives a different effect. Apple juice gives him the ability to stretch like Luffy or something, for example. Grape juice allows him to go invisible and Red Bull gives him wings. Domain Expansion, Sea of Endless Slot Machines. Alternatively, you can call this Sea of Endless Garbage because it's difficult to move in, there's garbage everywhere just like his fucking apartment, and you can't find your footing and you think you just stepped on a Lego brick. The sure hit is if he gets a 777 on one of the slot machines. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Facial detection? Nah, I prefer racial detection. If you've seen any Michael Reeves video, then you know what he's about. Mamma mia! He's built a surgery robot, a screaming Roomba, and a toaster that only works when you yell at it Terrence Fletcher style. He builds the wildest inventions you could never think of. Curse Technique, Drone Shadows. His summons are all of the robots he has ever created. His strongest summon is a Roomba that screams when it bumps into stuff. He can summon multiple robots at a time, provided his cursed energy can handle it, but his limit is 3. His Roomba dances around the room, going from edge to edge like a DVD logo hitting a corner. Whenever this Roomba makes contact with anything that isn't a wall, it makes it explode. Sheer heart attack style. Michael's binding vow this Roomba allows him to increase the speed at which it goes as well as its direction in exchange for cursed energy. Domain Expansion Bird Cage He puts you in a cage where he does a rumbling with all of his drones, but for each drone that he allows in, it weakens the inner barrier of the domain. Mamma mia! Lily Pichu Lily Pichu is a musician, singer, songwriter, accomplished voice actor, member of offline TV, and not to mention Michael's girlfriend. She's the yin to his yang, the calm to his storm, and also sometimes his mother. Curse Technique Comfy Beats When Lily recites a verse from one of her three most popular songs on Spotify, she can cycle between different weapons. Dreamy Night enables Lily to use a hand grenade that, upon explosion, will have stars and moons come out of it and make the enemy very sleepy. One hit can make an enemy fall asleep instantly. Comfy Vibes This gives Lily a staff with a similar effect to Dreamy Night. When it hits an enemy, they start feeling sleepy, but its potency is far less than the nade, but consecutive hits with this weapon make the target feel sleepier. Last cup of coffee gives Lily a fucking RPG that's a one shot one kill, but one shot will expend her cursed energy completely for half a day. She also has a Shikigami, which is a mini Michael. This Michael's effect is weaponized autism. It attacks anything that it sees within a certain range that isn't Lily, and also has laser eyes like a laser baby. Domain Expansion, Palace in the Night Sky. She takes you to a dream world which is based on your worst nightmare which fucks up your mental during the fight. Sea Dog VA. Sea Dog, otherwise known as Connor Colonoscopy, is a rising star in the streaming space, the biggest JoJo fan, and also 
Magnus Carlsen's hot cousin. Seriously, this guy has been hit on on stream more times than every streamer combined. Also, he's part of Trash Taste, one of the fastest growing podcasts in the world. Curse Technique, Stand User. His stand takes the form of Iron Mouse, and Iron Mouse has the speed and range of Star Platinum with the ability of Jorno's Golden Experience. Domain Expansion, Sebastian's Palace. He takes you to a narrow corridor of a palace where you're forced to fight him close range. Also, there are Funko Pops everywhere. Anyone who has spent any amount of time watching anime related content on YouTube should know this guy. Giguk, real name, Grant Many Tampons? Graham Stephen? Garnt Many Tapo is likely the most popular AniTuber on YouTube and is also one third of the Trash Taste podcast. He also used to be a monk and has a thing for blonde chicks. Curse Technique, the end of Ava. He summons a small mech that fights alongside him and he powers it with cursed energy. For instance, he could supply the mech with all his current cursed energy or 90% of it or whatever, but the moment it runs out of cursed energy, it disappears and he's unable to summon it again for until he eats 5 pizza, pizza crusts. Now with regards to the mech itself, on the left arm of the robot is a gun that shoots out altered cursed energy bullets which detonates small explosions on impact. And on the right is a focused laser beam that causes significant damage in exchange for huge amounts of cursed energy. It also has rocket dildos on its back, just my personal touch. Garn can issue commands to the robot as well. Domain Expansion A temple further than the universe In this temple, the target is forced into prayer. If they go against God's will and don't, the sure hit effect kicks in. The target must also pray for 7 seconds which leaves them vulnerable to attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Every, time. every time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Every time. <laughs> He's so good at it. It's like, Joey, do the thing. You're lucky I'm a good friend. Man. <laughs> the Anime Man. The Anime Man is also known as Joey the Manga Lad because he's fucking scammed his fans into thinking he still watches fucking anime. Joey is another co host of Trash Taste and also does music on the side. Curse Technique. Foolish Coolish. For every hot take Joey has about a specific anime, he summons the personification of the anime's fandom like a Shikigami. For instance, if he summons the My Hero Academia fandom, he summons a degenerate horny Todoroki cosplayer who tweets out please spank me daddy and will suck your dick. You get what I mean. Domain Expansion Reading Comprehension he traps you in a manga cafe that has every manga that he has ever read and complete the tale. It would sound like a nice vacation if it weren't for the fact that he summons it to kill you. Alright, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna entertain my stream? Don't say the n-word? <laughs> I don't Do think uh... Do not say the n-word <laughs> while I'm down the stream. For most people it's easy, but for us it is extreme. Fitz is the CEO of Racism. He's famous for his hilarious bits and lack of care surrounding edgy jokes. His old videos average 10 million views each because they're so goddamn rewatchable. Curse Technique, Racial Hotwire. When he says a joke, depending on who the butt of the joke is, he can switch between modes. If he targets himself, it's defensive mode. Damage taken from enemies is half, but the same goes for attacking. If he targets you, it's offensive mode. Damage dealt is doubled, but damage taken is also doubled. And if he targets someone else, it's normal mode. There are no changes to damage taken or damage dealt. He has a binding vow that if he says the same joke twice, he forfeits all of his powers. Domain Expansion Demonetization Station Within the station, he can die and come back to life just like his fucking upload schedule. The domain lasts until the next train arrives at the station, which is every 3 minutes. In exchange for immortality for 3 minutes, the sure hit effect doesn't apply for this domain. Last time I see hold this big, I still with my ex-wife. Uncle Roger Shit talking his way to fame, Uncle Roger is the prince of roasting people's cooking. He's like Pinocchio but his nose doesn't get longer because when he roasts you, you know everything he said is fucking true. Curse Technique Roast Beef Literally cursed speech except he will roast the ever living fuck out of you. How you look, how you're a failure, how you haven't graduated college after 8 years, that kind of shit. You take damage equal to how hurt you are by the insult. Domain Expansion Trauma of a Million Asians You both get transported into a room with a bunch of random shit like belts, slippers, hangers, golf clubs, mops, you name it. The sure hit is put into effect after every 5 weapons he uses. Good luck! Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and I am- Best known for his altruistic attitude to everything, gifting god knows how much money to charity and being handsome as fuck dad. <clears throat> Mark's most notable for his down-to-earth character and hilarious sketches, as well as horror. Curse Technique Jump Scare 
Mark has been getting jump scared his whole life and now it's his turn to jump scare you. He can seep into any shadow he sees within a 200 meter radius and then come out of it. Any of them. Domain Expansion, the Mark Fishbach Multiplier. In this domain, Mark creates multiple artificial shadow sources and can create clones of himself which have the same curse technique. Come on, morning, you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to another- Jacksepticeye. Jack is the number one, <clears throat> I mean number two Irish YouTuber of all time and was once called the most energetic YouTuber on the platform. Now he owns his own clothing and coffee brands. Curse Technique Discount Code. He offers you a discount on his coffee. If you take it, your own Curse Technique's efficiency is halved for three minutes and if you don't, it starts a timer. Once the timer runs out, you take double damage from each attack that hits you. To beat the timer, you need to deal a certain amount of damage to Jack like a damage check in Monster Hunter or an MMO. Domain Expansion Morning Coffee Jack traps you in a coffee maker where you need to escape or else you'll drown after 3 minutes. And he's taken down. Tarek is not done with this major yet. Here it is, Tarek! Tarek is currently the biggest Valorant content creator in North America. Formerly a CSGO pro famous for being a peanut brain. What the fuck are you doing? Who is that guy? Oh, and he also won a world championship. He retired from pro play and went full-time streamer and started fucking smurfing in Radiant. His streams are usually half fucking around and half actually being good at the game. I don't, I don't think you're prepared for his curse technique, get this. It's jet knives, but they're dicks. <laughs> Excuse me for a second, my friend here is clearly off his rockers. Curse technique, duelist main. He can choose any ability from any duelist to use in building his own arsenal of three abilities. However, he can only use those three abilities for the duration of the fight and no other abilities, so it's like locking in a Valorant agent. Domain Expansion Major Winner He summons the spirit of his Cloud9 2018 Boston Major Winning self and puts both of you in a stadium. The sure hit attack takes the form of the ultimate of the duelist he chooses to use, but he can only use the ultimate while Major Winner is active. Dream Currently the biggest Minecraft creator in the world, Dream is popular for his Manhunt series where he speedruns Minecraft while his friends try to kill him. He's also often a topic of controversy for a bad speedrun as well as fighting with Gumball. Curse Technique Speedrunner Sin Dream gains increased speed in proportion to the cursed energy that he expends. Domain Expansion The End Dream summons you to fight the Ender Dragon. The fight is the same as how it would be in Minecraft but Dream shares health with the Ender Dragon so if you kill it, you kill Dream as well. On the other hand, the dragon's attacks are mega destructive so watch out. But unlike the fight itself, there are no Endermen to get in the way. Alternate Domain Expansion Bad Math Dream summons a guy who fucks up his math and now you're stuck in a broken domain with a timer that permanently says 19 minutes. There's no sure hit or anything, it's a fucking broken domain, it just glitched. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Logan Paul Logan Paul is famous for being a co-founder of Prime, touring the suicide forest of Japan, and scamming his fans using crypto. I've made a severe and continue it. He's currently in the running for biggest piece of shit on the internet. Cursed Technique Thieves Tools For every second he touches you, he gains cursed energy equivalent to how much Crypto Zoo is on that day. Fuck this guy, I'm not giving him a strong ability. Domain Expansion Malevolent Douchebag WWE Champion He summons a whole ass wrestling ring that gets considerably smaller as time goes by, so you're forced into a close quarters fight. Mr. Beast Mr. Beast is the king of virality. He's the most subbed individual on YouTube and has begun to dominate on other platforms like TikTok and even Twitter. Cursed Technique Gleaming Golden Gauntlet He is able to exchange his wealth for cursed energy using something that looks like an infinity gauntlet. And the more cursed energy he has, the stronger he becomes. Domain Expansion Cistern of Cash He traps you within a barrier that you're free to leave after a period of time. Once that period has elapsed, you will gain cash equivalent to the cursed energy amount Mr. Beast is using at the moment from him. But if you leave, you get hit with a sure hit attack that does triple damage. You're vulnerable in the barrier where the timer is active, but in return the domain's sure hit cannot go into effect while you are in the barrier. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? Ninja Ninja is the one-time king of Twitch who now just chills because he's rich and famous as fuck.
He's best known for being Bob the Builder and being really funny when he's mad. If you ever get the chance to meet him at a party, make him angry because it'll be fucking hilarious. Let me walk you through my thought process of making his ability. Ninja, Fortnite, Build, Bob the Builder. Infinite Domain Expansions. Yeah, so Ninja can cycle through any domain expansion that he's seen, but in exchange he doesn't have any innate cursed technique. He can only attack with strength and cursed energy like Yuji, and use the effects of domains that he's seen. KSI. KSI is best known for being a boxer, musician, and overall a great entrepreneur. When he laughs at his jokes, his laugh is usually funnier than the joke, but he's a down-to-earth dude who's probably fun to hang out with. Curse Technique, Prime Time. For every hit he lands on you, the next hit will deal a multiplier according to how many hits have already landed on you. What counts as a hit for this Curse Technique is a very strong punch. Domain Expansion, Ball Game. He traps you in a football field. It's a best of one. The winner steals the other's Curse Technique for one minute. Sniper Wolf. Hotter than a Hot Wheels track but bitchier than a chatty ex-girlfriend who talks like this and thinks she can do no wrong, Sniper Wolf is famous for faking COD gameplay as well as her tits which I've named Angelica and Eliza. Curse Technique Copycat She steals your content and makes it hers, as in she can copy your curse technique and use it but at a decreased efficacy. Domain Expansion Your house No, literally, it's your fucking house. She doxes you. Apart from that, it's just a standard domain with a sure hit. Ludwig Ludwig is best known for popularizing the Subathon as well as YouTube content which consists of him talking about drama, playing games he's remarkably average at, and hosting events for games that he loves. Curse Technique Subathon Streamer Ludwig gains all the physical abilities of Jigglypuff from Smash Melee, then he starts a timer for 3 minutes. As long as this timer is up, his cursed energy is basically unlimited. He can keep this timer going by landing hits, and the time can be reduced by hitting him. Domain Expansion Delfino Plaza Ludwig takes you to a Smash Bros map of his choosing and all the mechanics of the map he chooses is applied. Well, that was all I could think of, I'm tired as fuck. Now imagine all these people are in the Shibuya incident as part of a pure battle royale game where the arena keeps getting smaller. Who do you got winning? As always, if you liked the video, please drop a sub and if you didn't, feel free to leave a death threat. See you later, au revoir.